Hello friends, this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. Today I will demonstrate and show you how to connect two or more computers to the same network. I run a small office with three Windows PC, two Android devices and one Mac and they are all connected to the same network. Today I am going to cover how to connect Windows PC to the same network using Windows Explorer method. If you wish to learn how to do that using home group or you want to connect Mac to the network system, I have got separate tutorial on that. Check out the link in the description of this video. To begin with, ensure that all PCs are connected to the same network. Second, ensure that your network sharing wizard is turned on. I will show you how to do that. I am on Windows 10 and settings of Windows 10 is quite similar to Windows 8 as far as these settings are concerned. So first thing is go to Windows Explorer and then view from the far right click on options and move into change folder and search options. Click on view tab, scroll down under the advanced settings and you will see use sharing wizard which is recommended ensure that this is checked okay this was the first thing which was necessary let's now go into settings of network settings move into network and internet scroll down and then network and sharing center change advanced sharing settings we have three network profiles here private guest or public and all networks let me try spending one or two minutes on this. This is very important. First thing is when you are sharing, your current profile should be set to private. Just in case if it's not private for whatever reason it is on guest or public, you will need to make it private. Just in case if you wish to learn how to move this from public to private and make it your current profile, I've got a detailed article on this on my blog technofair.com. I have shared the link of the same in the description below. You can check that out. Now assuming that all the PCs of your office or at your home are on current profile private. Expand this. We have network discovery here. Turn this on. Second thing we have got file and printer sharing. Ensure that this is turned on. And the third thing is home group connections. Allow windows to manage home group connections. Keep this at recommended level. This is a good feature under network discovery. Turn on automatic setup of network connected devices. What this means is that if the other PC has got an external hard drive or a pen drive connected, I can copy data from this PC that I am using to the external hard drive. But in that case, network of that hard drive or the pen drive should be enabled for sharing. Let's talk about guest or public profile. This particularly means when you are using Windows system on a public network at a cyber cafe or at a coffee shop which I am sure will not be the case so you can keep this as off turn off network discovery and turn off file sharing let's now also talk about what does all network mean if you turn this on public folder sharing this will enable folding of public folder which is under C drive and if you turn this off public folder will not be shared with other devices so I am keeping this as on it's okay to keep the file sharing at 128 bit encryption move down under password protected sharing there are two options turn on and turn off if i turn this off then folder sharing can be done without any password let's first see how to do that save changes i've got a test folder on my desktop now to share this without password do a right click go to properties move into sharing tab and then share from this drop down you need to select the user share it with a particular user i can choose that user and proceed so right now i'm sharing this with everyone click on add you may want to change the rights from read to read write or remove i will prefer keeping this as read and share done a small tick under advanced sharing click on it and tick this box share this folder apply and proceed before I jump to the other PC to show you the shared folder, let me first show you how to check your PC name. Do a right click on this PC, move into properties and here is the computer name which is Technofair in my case. Right now I am connected to the other PC which is Asus. I will show you how to access Technofair from the other PC. I will move into network 
and here I can locate all the connected PCs on the network. So I've got Asus PC, which is the PC right now. And let's go back to Technofare. Yes, I can access it without any password and I can even open a folder and further documents. Let's go back. I can even connect my MacBook, which is connected to the network. My username is Apple. Password, I have kept it at blank. Yes, I can easily access the content of Mac from PC. I missed mentioning something very important. You will need to restart your PC after sharing the folder. I just did it two minutes back in the interim. Okay, now I'm back on the Technofare PC. Back to Network Profile Sharing Center. We'll now need to go to all networks. I need to now show you how to password protect sharing for that. Under password protected sharing, I will turn this on and save changes. Let's close this. I will not need to go to search bar and type N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z. Enter. Add. We are creating a new user for network profile. Sign in without a Microsoft account and let's create a local account here. Enter some username. Proceed. As you can see, new user has been created. Let's OK this and proceed. Let me create a new folder and show you how to password protect it at the time of sharing. Naming this as ABCD. Do a right click on the folder, move into properties, sharing tab, share. And here I will need to choose the ABC username that I've just selected, add it. Give it write or read permission, whatever you want and then share done folder stands shared to make the folder visible on the other pcs on the network move into advanced sharing and check mark this box share this folder and apply changes let me close this window and move back to asus pc to show you the abcd folder welcome back to asus pc let's now try and access the folder that we have just created on the other pc and we go to Technofare folder. It's asking for username and password. I created ABC as a username and password was QWERTY. Okay. Yes, I can access the ABCD folder that we created on the desktop and the folder was blank. Now I'll show you something very interesting. I can access all the folders in the shared network through my Android device. I'll show you how that happens. I'm on Google Play Store. I've searched for Asus File Manager. It's already installed on my device. Open this. Interface is quite easy to follow. Move into this three horizontal lines and now I'll tap on Network Place. This should show all the devices that are connected on the network. It has Asus PC, my Technofare laptop and my Dell laptop. Plus it is also showing the MacBook. Let me for a minute open Asus PC. Users, it's not asking for any of the passwords because password is not set on Asus PC network sharing option. Let's go back to network place and open Technofare computer. I will need to enter the username which was ABC and password as QWERTY. Okay. Yes, now I can access ABCD folder and the test folders that we created. Plus, I can also access the users. I can even access my Android device from my Windows PC. Let's go back to the menu. Home. Scroll up and you will see PC file transfer at the bottom. Just tap on it once and start. I will now need to enter this URL HTTP 192.168 on my PC web browser and access the Android device. I hope that was pretty easy to follow. If you have got still any doubts on network connection, please put that in comments below. I would look forward to hear from you. Thanks for your time.